This week's movies, Bick and Flo Saw a Bear, The Last of the Unjust, and morning, The Lego Good morning, morning, Good morning, Flo. Ready to start the day. Dee, 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 dee. Ah, here it is. Instructions to fit in, have everybody like you, and always be happy. The Lego Movie is a computer animated adventure comedy. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, The visual environment created by the filmmakers hums with wit and imagination. The story is a busy slapdash contraption designed, above all, to satisfy the imperatives of big budget family entertainment. Oh my gosh, I love this song! Everything is awesome. Pop culture jokes ricochet off the heads of younger viewers to tickle the world weary adults in the audience, with just enough sentimental goo applied at the end to unite the generations. Parents will dab their eyes while the kids roll so, uh... theirs. Hey guys, I think we're about to crash into the sun. Yeah, but it's gonna look really cool. Ich werde mich vergleichen mit einer anderen klassischen Gestalt aus der klassischen Literatur. Nicht mit äh, Orlando Furioso und nicht mit dem Sid, aber wissen Sie mit wem? Mit Sancho Panza. Der Realist, der rechnet und der, der, der und die anderen nicht dunkle Schutterien machen mit den großen Plänen. The Last of the Unjust is a documentary about Benjamin Mermelstein, the last Jewish elder of Theresienstadt, a so-called model concentration camp, and also about the filmmaker himself and his status as a leading interpreter of the Holocaust. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, No literary imagination could have created such an articulate amalgam of vanity, pettiness, courage, and guile. Jude und der Hitler kann ich mit dem Luxus ein Gentleman zu sein nicht leisten. The film is both impressive and maddening, precisely because it fails or refuses to resolve the contradictions this man presents. The last of the unjust is the portrait of an individual whose actions still defy comprehension, and the self-portrait of an artist consumed by the past. Wenn man in 100 Jahren sagen wird, die Insassen der Ghettos waren lauter Heilige, keine größere Lüge wird es geben. Es sagen Märtyrer, aber nicht jeder Märtyrer ist ein Heilige. Vic and Flo is about a pair of lesbian lovers newly released from prison who settle in the countryside in Quebec. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, the director initially throws a tight frame around his characters, nearly boxing them in. But something happens just before the whole thing becomes overly cute. The director transforms what seemed like a pleasant, seemingly predictable movie about a collection of eccentrics into a frightening tale of revenge. This isn't, it turns out, the usual once upon a time, but a story about the unknowns that can swallow us up. Comment tu m'as trouvé Je suis bien ben intelligente. C'est connu. Oh putain, comment tu m'as trouvé C'est qui ce mec là Tu pas changé. Hein? Tu veux quoi Te faire bien mal. Mais arrête de déconner, tu veux quoi